Everything in Hogwarts Legacy cost galleons, a lot of them. New gear, potions, plants, even spellcrafts for decking out your room of requirement. It's a tedious grind that partially gates a portion of your progression. What if I told you I had a solution to this galleon dilemma, a way you could farm nearly 12,000 galleons an hour relatively early on in your game? My name is Kodiak, this is Legacy Gaming, and today I'm teaching you how to get rich quick in Hogwarts Legacy. Let's just get a few things out of the way. In order to do this method, you're gonna have to progress far enough in the story that you unlock your vivarium inside the room of requirement. You'll need this unlocked because the method we'll be sharing actually involves the brood and peck shop within Hogsmeade. If you're anything like us, you visited the store early on in your adventures, saw that you can buy beast materials, and went on your merry way none the wiser. After you obtain your knapsack and start catching beasts to bring back to your vivarium, walking back into this shop is a completely new experience. And if you check the cell tab, it's now displaying the contents of your knapsack. You'll notice that each beast, regardless of how difficult it was to capture, sells for 120 galleons. We saw this and the light bulb went off and this is where the farming begins. All beast spawns in Hogwarts Legacy are on a day-night cycle respawn timer, meaning if you fully capture all the beasts in one of their dens, progress time a full day and return to that location, they'll have all respawned. The trick here is to find a group of beasts that are high in density relatively easy to capture and quickly accessible by flu point to make your time spent farming as efficient as possible. Enter the moon calf den that we come across when first learning how to use our knapsacks. This location is still the best one we found and meets all of those requirements. First off, it always spawns eight moon calves. And if you do some quick math, that's 960 galleons per group. No other location comes close, at least not at this point. Second, moon calves are incredibly easy to capture, especially if you use Levioso first before swapping to your knapsack. This lets you fully capture the creature before it even gets a chance to run away. Third, the flu point to travel here is just a few steps down the road from our destination. This allows us to immediately start capturing shortly after fast traveling and no flying is required. If we break down the numbers, you can average around 960 galleons every five minutes. That includes travel time, capture time, selling time, and even the night to day transition time. I'm almost confident you could even shave off more time once you get into a rhythm. But at the end of the day, you're looking at nearly 12,000 galleons per hour just by using this simple method. Do this for a few hours and you'll be rolling in coin. Plus, you can always stop and crack open a few eye chests scattered around Hogsmeade and Hogwarts if you get bored. We talk about this and some other great tips in our Hogwarts Legacy Wish I Knew Sooner video, so definitely go check that out. If you master this farm, you'll have more than enough galleons to purchase everything, and I do mean everything, available at all the stores within Hogwarts Legacy. This will even come in handy when you need to buy gear from Glad Rags Wizardware towards the latter part of the game. Gear is assigned stats based on your current power level, which means if you loot every chest in the game, you'll need another method of getting items, and that's when having a few coins will be key. It's a galleon farm that would make even the greediest of Nifflers proud. We hope this quick video helped you rake in the galleons on your journey to becoming an unstoppable witch or wizard. If you appreciate guides that get straight to the point and you want more content like this in your feeds, do me a solid, hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing. Legacy Gaming has a ton more planned for Hogwarts Legacy, so stick around so you never miss a new video. I also want to invite you to join the Legacy Gaming community on Discord. We recently reworked our entire server, so if you're looking for a place to hang out, win free prizes, talk about great games like Hogwarts Legacy, and group up with friends, check out the link in the description below. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.